If man could acknowledge his responsibilities for the pain and suffering we're causing honeybees, the world might become a far better place with not quite so many mm. tears streaming down my face. The discomfort mm. and anguish mm. that we create might taste more repulsive if it sat on our mm. plate. I noticed this bee in my yard the other day, so I followed him around to try and see what he would say. He seemed quite angry, no longer able to fly. And as I looked closer, I asked myself why. I'd never really been an ally to bees. Once I got stung by surprise in some leaves. I hadn't done anything to deserve this abuse. He maybe just flew into my shirt that was loose. Since then, I've kept myself further away, but have tried to learn what they do every day. It seems that we're lucky they do what they do, which is pollinate. They work the entire day through. You see, in order for fruit trees to produce, the plant needs to flower. Without pollen, there's no use. The wind will carry some of this stuff, but nature has a friend who does more than enough. The life of a bee is a thankless job to help give us food that we eat like a slob. Yes, we idiot humans have found a new way to cram more and more profits into growing today. Pesticides with chemicals being sprayed everywhere make plants really grow, but it's not safe out there. Farmers and growers are now in deep ruts they have to truck bees in or no fruits and nuts. These farmers and growers over time have heard the chemical companies and all their big words. They say, use our stuff, your crops will excel. But the bees come in contact and then don't feel so well. So who's going to pollinate these plants when they're gone? Bees work for free while we just look on. We try to pretend like there's nothing wrong while pesticide peddlers tell us they belong. But look at this bee, he's suffering there. Dow and Monsanto, take a look if you dare. Pay attention to the pain you're causing this bee. Do you think we'll find laborers as efficient for free? If we go down this path without even a thought, and these pollinators become a thing we have not, we'll have no one to blame but ourselves for the fact that when we could, mm -hmm. we didn't even bother to act. Take a good look at China. Their bees are dead. Since back in the 80s, mm -hmm. humans pollinate instead. These are backbreaking, tedious, and low-paying jobs. But with Chinese cheap labor, they choose from large mobs. We'd better start thinking about saving our bees that happily work in our plants and our trees. We should thank them for all of the good things we eat, all the fruits and nuts that make life taste so sweet. So look at this bee dying here in my yard. It just wants to get up and do a job. That's quite hard. And what do we do to return the favor? We don't act very nice. We're not a good neighbor. Short-sighted thinking is what we're about. What fills up our wallets and gives us more clout. When these bees are gone, things won't be the same. We'll look back on this time with regret and with pain. For this bee is sick, and he's dying right now. Let's look at the truth of what, why, and how. <laughs>